Not like I'm going anywhere. <coughs> My sweet little Junpei. It's a shame what happened to your poor milf of a mother. Killed by a human, I heard. Yep, definitely a human that killed her. I bet that makes you want to exact your retribution on all those humans who bullied you, doesn't it? No, not really. I just... Just think of how disappointed your poor mother would be if you didn't get revenge for her. Tisk tisk. Well, I guess when you gaslight me like that... Oh, my ripe and juicy little Junpei. You're like the son I never wanted. And you're like the psychopathic mass-murdering father figure that I'm not so sure I want anymore. How about this? If you don't do as I say, I'll kill you, okay? And if you do do what I say, I'll only probably kill you. Sound good? It's the least I can do for a grieving student of mine. You're threatening my life and that's the least you can do? I can do more if you'd like. You know what? On second, third, and fourth thought, never mind. Good. Now get to killing, loser. I got some main character shit to do today. The suspect you've been investigating, your friend Junpei. I wouldn't use the word friend, but go on. Okay, lover, whatever. We've been informed that his mother was killed by a curse. <gasps> Wait, hot anime milf Chan is dead? Like, like dead dead? No, just regular dead. Oh, thank God. So there's a chance she's still alive then? No, like I said, she's dead. You know, you're giving me real mixed signals here, dude. Would it be less confusing if I bashed you upside the head with a tire iron repeatedly until you blacked out? Probably take like one, two swing stops. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, based on the information we've received, Junpei is currently on a killing spree at his high school. Oh, I didn't know he was American. Apparently, he's using cursed abilities. Cool! <laughs> awesome! Great, not really seeing how that's my problem, though. I'm officially making this your problem. He's your friend. Acquaintance at best! So, we're putting you on cleanup duty. Also, try to figure out where he got those powers. Also, be back by lunch. Am I even getting paid for this? Do you think I'm paid enough for this to answer whether or not you're getting paid for this? Are you hitting on me? Oh yeah, he wants me. <laughs> Please, why are you doing this? Listen, I know I bullied you relentlessly without remorse, but it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that totally makes sense. I completely forgive you now. Oh, thank God, I'm glad we could. Oh, ow, 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 ow. This doesn't feel like forgiveness. Ow, 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 ow. I wanted her to sit on my face like a chair. What? Sorry, still getting over the loss of your mom. Anyway, what's with all this indiscriminate killing you're doing? Stop it! That's fucking cringe, bro! Oh, <laughs> oh, foolish little Itadori. You haven't even begun to see the depths of my cringe. Yeah, bet that sounded way cooler in your head, didn't it? <sighs> yeah. So let me get this straight. You're gaslighting a teenager in order to make him fight to the death with another teenager. Exactly! And you're doing this because... Why, exactly? Because I was bored and the cable's out. You have cable? I thought you lived in a sewer. Yeah, like I said, the cable's out. Right, well... Anyway, I came to talk to you more about our super evil grand mega plan of ultimate bombastic villainy with a side of ranch. But... Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll call you when I'm done here. Now I know you don't have a cell phone, but I'm just gonna pretend that wasn't a clear indication of your lack of interest. Well, that seems like a waste of time. And why is that? <laughs> because it was. Uh, well, uh... Okay, then. You know, you're pretty weak for a main character. Oh, come on, that stopped being funny like five episodes ago. And you stopped being relevant as a main character five seconds after Gojo showed up. Oh! How in the hell do you even know who that is? I read the manga. At least I have friends. Don't all of your friends think you're dead? Oh! You know, killing a bunch of innocent people I can forgive, but that's just taking it way too far, dude. Makes you feel pretty shitty, doesn't it, Itadori? Yeah, it does. Makes you want to exact your revenge by killing me, doesn't it, Itadori? Yeah, it fucking does. So you empathize with my position, then, don't you? Yeah, I wait, no. Admit that you would do the same thing in my position. <laughs> You are being such a smelly asshole right now, shut up! Maybe I can empathize with you, but so what? Don't you think I know what it's like to be treated like you don't matter? Like nothing you do has any meaning! I know what it's like to harbor resentment. To be so full of hatred, you forget everything that made you who you are! Sorry, I didn't, didn't, didn't mean to, to 
punch that hard. So sorry. So what's the difference then? Who are you to tell me that I'm wrong? The difference is I'm not a smelly one-dimensional asshole like you! I don't allow my 9 out of 10 booty to be blinded by that brown-eyed hatred. I don't let it define my supple cheeks. I just rub it in like Preparation H, you know? Absorb it. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Empathize with them? What's there to empathize? They're nothing but scum! <gasps> you shut your doo-doo mouth! You do realize that to them, you look like nothing but scum too, don't you? Yeah, well, you, you, you look like a bitch. What's that, buddy? Sorry, couldn't hear you over all that edgelord aura seeping out of your hot topic demeanor. What? You look like fucking Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man 3 when he got the Venom suit and turned into a proto Sasuke. I don't, I don't get pop culture references. That is so sad. But you know what the even more sadlier part is? I think that in another life, we could have been really, really moderate and ordinary friends that would message each other on MySpace every few months or so and leave each other on red, probably. Why not this life? <laughs> because you're like a fucking asshole, dude. You killed like a bunch of super really innocent people. <laughs> right. I already forgot I did that. <sighs> Look, man, I get that your anger comes from hurt and that theirs comes from a place of ignorance and lack of empathy. Wait, weren't we supposed to be trying to kill each other a few seconds ago? I know that you're coming from a place of grief, and while it doesn't excuse what you've done, your outrage does come from somewhere tangible, from a place we can all understand. No, seriously, I was about to rip your throat out of your asshole. Shut the fuck up! I'm giving a cool hero speech, damn it! We just have to learn how to identify it before it grows too much to be able to control. So I really am just like them then, aren't I? Yeah, kinda. It's too late for me now, isn't it, Itadori? Oh, absolutely. You're fucking done, man. Oh, will you two just make out already? <laughs> were you two having a touching moment? We were until you broke several to all of my ribs! <laughs> What's your name? No! Sorry, my touching moments are a little more hands-on. Dude, same! <sighs> Kento-chan, Desu Sensei! Just Kento is fine. Well, well, well. If it isn't that guy who almost killed me that one time after he cut my arm off in a dirty, smelly sewer that also happens to be my home. Did you not just hear me say just Kento is fine? Personally, I think Kento is more than just fine. Stop it. Stop rejecting my love! Why do you putrid dregs keep on intervening in my bomb-ass plans? I just want to gaslight teenagers to kill other humans so that only cursed beings are left. Is that so hard to ask? Yes! Yes, it is! That's cringe, bro! Well, number one, that's not gonna work. Number two, you're stupid. And, uh, unrelated third thing? Fuck you. Yeah, what he said! Yeah, what I said! I bet you two would make a great couple. I bet you aren't even forklift certified! I never said I was? I fucking knew it! Kento Samachan, let's sack this bitch! Now listen, let's just calm down and- Ooh! Oh! Oh! Guys, wait, I just want to talk. What a coincidence. I just want to kick the shit out of you. Those two things are completely unrelated. Yeah, that's what makes it funny. Oh, oh, oh. It's not really funny for me, though. Yeah, that's the part that makes it funny for us. Oh, okay. See, that makes sense. Ah, yikes. Oh, ah, zoinks. <laughs> you guys don't play nice. Your Fortnite promotion is stupid. You take that back. I'm going home. You fucking suck. Hey, wait! Itadori, wait. Why? Think of how much cooler we'll look if we let him get away. It's like turning your back on an explosion. Only significantly more risky, irresponsible, and also completely stupid. You had me at stupid. That was literally the last word of the sentence. I know, I just wasn't paying any attention until literally the last word of what you just said. Inside of me, there is a cauldron of emotion in which one half wants to beat the shit out of you. What's the other half? Plot twist, there is no other half. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Hey, you want to get some TGI Fridays? Itadori, do I look like white trash to you? No, you look Japanese. Oh, okay, because I was literally just asking. I would love some fucking TGI Fridays. God, we have such a good dynamic. Shut the fuck up. I love you too. I can't believe those pasty sluts busted up my perfect 9 out of 10 bod like that. I'm so mad I could say a slur or two. 
Corksucker! Fucking spagging balls! I, I don't think those are slurs, but whatever. I'll get you back for this, you vexatious jerk-offs. Just you wait and see. On the next episode of Jujutsu Ball Z! <laughs> hey, do you hear that? Yep. <laughs>